They've pushed too far with their woke agenda again. This is Amazon Prime Video's The Boys, based on the Garth Ennis comic. And uh, ever since uh, season three, they've really uh, hit this anti-Trump agenda with their character Homelander. Originally, they had him uh, killing a protester. And uh, starting with that kind of thing to uh, silence dissent. But the new season four finale is disgusting. Uh, and they actually put a content warning on it because they knew it. They know that they did wrong. They know that everybody's going to hate this. And uh, they're lying to you when they say that any similarities are coincidental and unintentional. We'll get into the news in just a moment. My name is John Delarose, everybody. I am a uh, journalist of comic books and entertainment and i also write my own comic books and i would love for you to check out the hidden emperor my graphic novel this is going to be launching today at 3 p.m pacific i'm going to be doing a live stream for it so please join us sometimes the notifications don't show up there i'd love to actually say hi to a bunch of you guys today that'd be amazing and uh this link will be in the description below if you want some non-woke comics that are awesome uh, this is a great place to start i really appreciate you guys for the heavy support uh, or notify on me on launch with the followers of this project is our highest by ever uh for uh, so it's been amazing so far and i can't wait to launch this and get this to you guys so i wrote an article this morning on pj media which i also have in the description uh, about the boys season finale because it absolutely encourages political violence against President Trump, against MAGA. These people hate you and they've been unabashed about it this entire time. And just putting a little content warning up there and changing the title of the episode uh, is not enough to disguise just this abject hate, this evil that they're perpetuating through this uh, per alleged superhero show. So what happened here was uh, they have their season finale. It just came out today. And of course, this is just a few days after the attempted assassination of President Trump. That causes a problem for them because this <laughs> this episode was titled Assassination Run. Yes, that was the actual title of this. Uh, there is an actual assassination attempt of a president in this. Uh, and with the allegories to MAGA being evil and uh, Homelander being an evil Trump character uh, and uh, them being literal Nazis, of course, uh, it makes it really bad as a look for Amazon. So they put up a disclaimer right at the beginning of the episode uh, for everybody who was actually going to watch this that said, Viewer discretion advised. This episode contains scenes of fictional political violence. Any similarities to recent events are completely coincidental and unintentional. Prime Video, Am Amazon MGM Studios, Sony Pictures Television, and the producers of The Boys oppose, in the strongest terms, real-world violence of any kind. Sure you do. Uh, I don't believe you for a second on this. You're complete liars. This entire show has been about trying to get people agitated about Trump to do exactly what happened on Saturday. This is your fantasy about that. This is what this is. Uh, this is your absolute fantasy of going after Trump and going after Trump supporters. We know better. We're not stupid. This is what the woke have always been about, and they want to hide it now. They want to they want to lie with this. Like, oh, we oppose. Of course, we oppose political violence. Uh, they've been saying punch a Nazi. Captain America would punch a Nazi. He'd literally punch Hitler for for years, right? Uh, it's been eight years of this, and now that something happened, they're all backing off trying to evade backlash they only care about like not losing their contracts here and not losing money they absolutely hate you they want you all dead and uh this is this episode <laughs> the actual contents of it show that a hundred percent and it continues so the assassination run was removed uh from <laughs> amazon prime and you can see they changed the title of it from to simply season four finale i guess they couldn't come up with another title <laughs> This shows how uncreative they are. Uh, they are not creative people. All they do is LARP and ape real-world events and then try to put their Trump derangement into things, and then uh, they try to sell it to you uh, as as fiction. It's absolutely sick. This is what the woke do on every single show. So the episode is an allegory for what leftists happened on January 6th. This was the, the entire episode literally is a what if the January 6th uh, riots actually happened and and they won the evil Trump won that that's literally what it's about uh so make no mistake it is agitated hateful heated political rhetoric it, that's the entire intention of this and that's been in their entire intention all along and so um, Homelander and the Seven actually deputize an army of superheroes to round up dissenters around the country while purging traitors from vote. 
uh, which is their their uh, uh, Nazi esque organization. So this is exactly what they believe Trump is, and this is exactly what they want to program people to hate. Uh, and this is, I mean, I don't know what, how you can make this more clear. The episode actually has an assassination attempt on the president, which fails. It's got a shapeshifter disguised as Starlight attacking him. And uh, much like the actual Trump on president's life, it doesn't work. But then the writers have the incoming elect VP murdered, <laughs> resulting in the president's arrest because he ordered it. So you can see this right here. They're saying that Trump's a murderer. They're saying that he's going to uh, go after the opposition like this. He's a literal Hitler, and that's uh, that's what they're trying to present just days after somebody actually tried to kill him. You can't make this stuff up. I mean, it's crazy that they released this episode to begin with, knowing this. Now, their showrunner, Eric Kripke, has uh, said a bunch of crazy stuff all the way around. He said uh, in 2020, we were really interested in exploring the idea of authority figures getting the public really riled up with xenophobia and racism. But ultimately, the most dangerous people are the white dudes standing next to you. That's I'm, that You can't make this stuff up, really. I mean, it's sick. We wanted to reflect that in the story, so the supervillains are, in a way, a misdirect. He went more unhinged in 2022 at the Saturn Awards. He said, the message of the boys is, in the real world, anyone who stands in front of you and says they're here to save you is effing lying and trying to sell you something. We all have a responsibility to save each other, taking care of the people next to you in a thousand boring, unremarkable moments every day. This is how the world gets saved. He concluded that speech by saying uh, that it's an 11-foot-high, 20-foot-long penis with a urethra tunnel. And I can't think of a better tribute to the man, meaning Trump. Thank you, everyone. Please vote F MAGA. Have a good night. I mean, this guy's absolutely deranged and sick. He did intend this. He wanted this. Uh, this is his fantasy of assassinating Trump 100%. Uh, he also said it to The Hollywood Reporter, I'm not shy about putting that perspective in the show. Anyone who wants to call the show woke or whatever, that's okay. Go watch something else. Well, that's been happening. The boys' ratings have, have of course, collapsed uh, as they've gone crazy and woke and then leaned into their Trump hate. This doesn't ever bode well for these people any time that they try to do this sort of thing. Now, again, uh, when you look at the plot of this episode, you look at what's been done. The, quote, unintentional and coincidental similarities to real-life events are obviously put there. Uh, you know, the, the uh, they, they filmed this before the attempt, so clearly it wasn't a uh, just copy-paste of that. But again, this is their fantasy of what they wanted to happen. Everything that happened on Saturday was what these people wanted all the way around. You saw this with Hollywood. You saw it with Kyle from Tenacious D going out there with his comments saying that he wished the shooter didn't miss. You saw this with Mark Wade from DC Comics saying very similar with his uh, posts on Blue Sky. These people all act the same. They all have the same derangement. They're all in the same industry together, and they're colluding to try to use entertainment as a fictional medium to rile people up, to program them, to actually get them uh, to do this kind of stuff. This is intentional propaganda on this level, and it's absolutely sick. I think these people have not done enough with this. This is uh, changing and hiding the title is just being cowardly about what their true intentions were. Putting this disclaimer up front is clearly just a lie. I want to see Eric, Eric Krimke and the entire Amazon staff apologize uh, for this entire episode existing. I want to see them uh, say, say like a much stronger statement about this sort of thing, and I want them to change their ways all the way around. Now, this series also has a ton of weird woke degeneracy in it. I saw a clip of it uh, the other day that was posted by The Quartering, uh, where like uh, one of the superheroes, a female, like actually takes drugs to like make her breast milk come in, uh, even though she's not pregnant, to shoot it in another superhero's face. Uh, like in some weird deviant fetish kind of thing. Uh, this show's sick all the way around, and these people are sick all the way around. I don't believe them whatsoever when they talk about how this is uh, something that they uh, don't condone. Uh, when they say uh, these these corporate uh, prime video, Amazon, MGM Studios, Sony Pictures Television, and the producers of Boys oppose in the strongest terms real-world violence of any kind. You know, and then they, they turn around and the guy's out there going, F MAGA, ah! <laughs> you know, I mean, what are we supposed to think? Uh, are we supposed to believe them whatsoever? I Like I said, they need to do something much stronger than this. This demands real apology. We got to keep the pressure on these people because they are evil. They are pushing evil. They are trying to hurt us, and they want all of us dead at the end of the day. Thank you. 
Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. Please make sure to join uh, me for the Hidden Emperor live stream. That's going to be at 3 p.m. Pacific today. And make sure to grab this link in the description below. Get notified on launch. And if you watch this after 3 p.m., this will be a live link to back the project. Uh, support non-woke content because we have to fight against stuff like the boys here. And this is the best way to do so. Appreciate you for being there.